Hi everyone, it's Lori, and today we are going to edit two images that I've recovered from the summer or the spring. These are images that I really haven't edited or done anything with, and I thought that today I'd walk you through, I want to add some softness to these. This is also a question that I get asked all the time, how to quickly add softness without having to paint. So let's jump in and get started. So I'm going to start with this image because this one, all I really want to do is add the softness. The rest of the image is okay. I'm going to duplicate my layer. I may do just a little bit of straightening of the table there. That looks a little bit better. All right. Once that's finished, then I'm going to go to this layer. I'm just going to keep and continue work with this. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. So I can just call this one crop. Whoops, we don't need that. Click on your letters here, and I'm just going to name it so I remember. Okay, now from this layer, I want to right click, and I am going to convert to a smart object. And the benefit of that is if we want to change the amount of blur, we can do it really easy. I'll show you how. All right, let's go ahead and get on our brush so we get that mask um, crop away. We're going to start to add our blur. We're going to use filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, Gaussian blur is an old blur. A lot of people have used it. You may have used it before, but we're going to use it in some select ways, which are going to give us what's called the Orton effect. Now, Orton is a photographer that created this method to just add softness. Now, his method is, you can read all about it, but using the Gaussian blur is a way to get a similar effect here in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is start at about 50%, somewhere around 45, 50% blur. You can see that's a lot, but that's okay. We're going to click OK. And now that we've added, we can change our blend mode on our layer. And I'm going to come down, yeah, maybe about 30, 40%. And now I'm going to, you already have a mask, which is great when you do the smart filter or smart object. And so I'm just going to go to our brush and I want to just bring back a little detail right here in the center and where this kind of color streaks are maybe a little in there. So just a little bit. Now you can play with that opacity and decide how much you want. I'm also going to go ahead and bring back a little bit on my book and the container. Okay, so now what I want to do to, you could stop here, but we're going to take it even further. So I'm just going to go to this layer. You want to be on the gray section, duplicate layer. We're just going to call it copy. So the beauty is it's given us a copy. It's already got our mask and now we have the Gaussian blur. And what you can do is click on that and it's going to pop it up. And now we can adjust how much blur. So for this second copy, I'm going to bring it down to about 16, 14, click OK. Then we can go to this layer and you can decide how much opacity of that you want to add. You could take it all the way, there's before, there's after. So you can see we've got some detail, we've got some softness, it's interesting. You could also change your mask if you wanted to. So you can keep this layer, I'm going to bring down that opacity a little bit. There we go, I like that. Now from here you can duplicate again. So we can duplicate the layer. I'm going to click OK, and this time, let's click on the Gaussian Blur. Let's increase it. Just showing you can do all kinds of options. Bring that down, click OK, and then we're going to modify with our opacity. There you go. So that is super dreamy, even if we bring it down. Let's look at before. Let me zoom in for you so you can really see the flowers and the background. Let's go back to our first one. There's our second. If you look at these flowers, it's also helping. It's cleaning up so it's not, that second one kind of cleans up so the edges aren't as um, artistic. So you can decide which one you like. 
And then number three, it brings back some of that kind of glow. And again, you can change the opacity of that layer. You could increase it, you could decrease it, but it's fun to just layer that glow effect to get it where you want it. It also impacts your background. So you can look at the different, oh, and as I look at this, I can really see a softness in this bottom, bottom area. So that third one really impacted that. So that is the quickest way to add a glow overall. Use your mask tools. Be sure you do smart, convert it to a smart object so that you can adjust if you need to. If you wanted to bring this up or down, it makes it super easy. All right, so I'm gonna pause here for just a second and let's come back and I'm gonna edit this image which needs an overall edit. Let's work on this one together. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate my background layer and the first thing that I want to do to this image before we add our softness is I'm going to come down and click the option key and hold the plus sign to add a layer. What I want to do for this layer is change the mode to overlay. That's going to give me this option to fill it with a neutral 50% gray. And I'm going to click OK. That's going to give me a gray layer which is going to allow me to edit in a non-destructive way and very soft. So we want to make sure we have a white brush, click on our brush, and now we're just going to brighten. Now that's a little too much, so we are going to lower the opacity, bring it down, but it just wanted to add some of that. Now I also think this color is just a little strong. Now let's go to our eraser and I am going to take off some of that brightness up here. Didn't really want that. All right, I think that works. Oh, that may be making it look a little funny. Let's undo that and instead let's do a mask. Sometimes the eraser, I, I don't use it very often. I prefer to use a mask or I can control the brush. All right, and that, let me take the opacity up on the brush. That's more of what I wanted. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do, let's try a um, selective color. And I'm going to go to yellow. And I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. There's other colors in yellow, so I'm just going, yeah, I want it to be really soft and kind of buttery. So I just made a little tweak there. We could also go to color balance and maybe add a little bit of blue to the whole scene. That's what it needed, almost like a white balance adjustment. So I like that a lot better. So I just felt like those colors See before, they were just off to me. Not sure how they look on your screen, but I like that softed look better. So now we need to do a stamped layer, Command Option Shift and the letter E, and then we can start with our same softness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and convert this to a smart object. You just right click, convert to smart object. Now we can go up to Filter, Blur, go to Gaussian Blur, and let's keep it at about 50%, say OK. And then you can change that opacity of your layer and just bring it down to where you like it. I really feel like it gives this kind of an ethereal, really soft look. Now what I want to do is go ahead and add my mask. I've got my brush. I'm going to bring back some of the detail and then I'm going to take the opacity of my brush down to 45, 50%. And I'm just going to bring back a little bit of detail around this center, but not at 100%. I want it to go from 100% in the center to 50% to that beautiful glow. All right, and then if we want to duplicate this layer, we can just right click, duplicate. Now we've got that blur again, but this time I'm going to take the Gaussian blur. I'm just going to lower it click OK, and then I'm going to increase the opacity 
just seeing, see you don't really see a shift. So I'm gonna take it all the way up. Let's turn it off and on. There you go, you can see it now. You can decide and again, I'm gonna take it down to 50%. And let's see how I have to sit back from it. There's before it is sharper and there's after. It is very subtle, you guys. Let's come in and that's before and that's after. You can see it in this area a little bit. Let me take it up to 100%. That's the beauty of adding it a second time. There's before there's after. So you can see the tips of the flowers really get soft and dreamy. And again, that's at 100%. So I'm going to bring it down. I like it probably about at 60. And I just think that's beautiful if you really like things soft and artistic. And if you don't have one of those fancy creative lenses, like a lens baby that can do this for you, you can do it super fast, super easy using the Gaussian Blur tool. So I hope you found this helpful. Please take a minute to click like and subscribe and you'll get notices of my videos. I try to post every week except during holidays or busy workshop seasons. I hope you'll stay in touch and leave me comments. Take care everybody.